Hey friends and welcome back to my channel. My name is Annalise and today I am quite unwell. I'm really sick. I think I have a cold or the flu or something and I know I might not sound like I'm sick but I promise I have a major head cold. I All I had to do today was film this video and I've literally just laid on the couch all day and it's now 4pm when I'm finally starting to film this. I think a way you can tell I am sick is it's currently 30 degrees Celsius outside and I'm wearing a long sleeve top and a scarf because I feel cold. <laughs> So yeah, I'm not feeling the best, but the show must go on. So if my makeup's a mess, my hair's a mess, I don't make sense somewhere in this video, you know that it's because I am sick. But I did want to film today anyway because I am really excited for this video. I'm bringing back an OG of mine on this channel, which is to review the lowest rated items on a specific website. And today, I thought it would be fun if we reviewed the lowest rated items on Forever 21. Now, I feel like this video could be misconstrued as tea or shade towards Forever 21 since they are, I think they're going bankrupt right now and this could be seen as tea or shade towards them. This is in no way shaded at all. I love Forever 21. I really like a lot of their clothes. I often buy stuff from them online. So this is in no way shade, tea, nothing. It is just a fun little video to see how the reviews compare in real life. And something very exciting about this video is since Forever 21 is such a massive website with like so many clothes, there were so many badly rated items that I was able to pick some that are in my style, which we love. And in saying that, there were so many amazingly rated items as well. So without further ado, let's just get on into this video because I'm excited to see these items. Okay, we're going to kick off this video with the highest star rating on the lowest rated items if that makes sense so we're gonna start off with an item that's three stars and work out all the way down to an item that is one star so this is the three star item if we open it up it is meant to be a crop top in pink my favorite color ever as you guys all know so this is what it looks like. Oh, okay, I think it's quite cute. It's got some boning on the front here to give it a little pointy shape, which I love. And then it has a little zipper on the back. So I don't know, at first glance, I can't really see why this is one of the lowest rated items. The quality isn't the best and there is like a loose thread on this, but let's see what the reviews were saying. Okay, so the reviews here are saying that the item was broke before I got to wear it. Runs big and fits really weirdly, sad face. You can feel the plastic inside the top and it's super cheap feeling. Another one just said, I don't recommend. Another review said, broke before I even wore the top. The wire burning started poking out of the top and bottoms and ripping the shirt. So I, obviously, the top has arrived not broken for me, so that is really good. However, I do see what they mean about how the boning could potentially stick out. It's not attached to the top, it's just put in there. So up the top here, it could very easily just poke out and rip. So I could see how that could happen over time. And as I said, it is quite cheaply made, the material, although I don't think it was an expensive item. Forever 21 generally is really cheap. That's why I love it so much. I'm a cheapskate, as we all know. So, which by the way, if you thought this is real Burberry, definitely not, it was $5, this scarf. So that just goes to show how cheap I really am. But let's go try this top on and see how it fits, if it's big, see if the boning is painful and just see what we think. All right, so this is what the top looks like on. So this is the front and this is the back. And I am very lucky. I haven't had any issues with the boning on this top. It didn't poke through as I was putting it on, but I can still see how if I were to wear this and it like moving around a lot, it really could poke out easily. But so far, not an issue. The only issue I have with this top is that it is quite big on me. <laughs> yeah, I ordered this in my size and it just does not fit me properly. It's not too big, like I could wear this and get away with it, but also I prefer a smaller size, you know? So I don't know, I think that I've just ended up being lucky with this top. I probably wouldn't recommend this one and I do think it does deserve to be one of the lowest items just because I can definitely see where the people are coming from and I can also report that it is uncomfortable to wear. The boning is sticking into my skin and again it's because it's not actually attached. They've just sewn around the boning so it's shuffling around and up here especially it is starting to like 
hurt quite a bit and that's right where the boning meets my skin so it is quite an uncomfortable top to wear and it's just not the nicest okay the next lowest rated item was true stars so we are getting closer to that number one and it is a pair of high heels you guys know I love high heels so much I wear them almost every single day I've actually started to develop shin splints from wearing high heels so much so it's a bit of an issue but that's a story for another time so when I saw that there were a pair of lowest rated heels on forever 21 I was like what how how can the what can be wrong with heels so let's do it same as we did before and just open these up and see oh I mean I love so these are what the heels look like they are like a classic Yeezy knockoff pretty much um the so I think Yeezys were the first ones to come out with these sort of heels and since then they've pretty much become a staple in everyone's wardrobe because they are just clear heels you can see better if I take out this stuffing since they are this clear design they match with everything and they are such an easy go-to heel so they look to be really nice I can't really see any issues at all on these shoes they look so cute and I actually don't own a pair of clear heels like this I know I've just been saying how it's a staple every wardrobe needs one and I don't even have some so I was really happy to see that they were the lowest rated that way I could buy them for this video and then I can justify it in my mind but uh, keeping that in mind let's see why these were rated at two stars because I mean I can't really see any issues oh right so wow there are a lot of negative uh, reviews on these shoes so so firstly it says cute but ran super small should have ordered a whole size up don't buy these are way too small all in caps I'm so disappointed size 8 fit more like a 6 so I ordered these in a size 8 I wear a size 8 so um hopefully they're not a 6 because I am not gonna be able to wear them and I was just hyping these shoes up it looks like that the shoes are too small and that also it's not too comfortable I mean unfortunately the, these sort of plastic shoes never are super comfortable I knew that when buying these so I kind of don't agree with that but the sizing I really hope it's not too small <laughs> let's go try these on because that's what we'll have to do try them on and see if they are too small but I really hope they're not all right these are what the shoes look like on and they are definitely way too small I look like that one picture of Kim K when she was pregnant she shoved her feet into shoes similar to these yeah look it just doesn't work they are really easy to walk in as a result of my feet literally being squished on in there but unfortunately they just don't fit me which is so disappointing I mean well they just fit but it's because I've literally shoved my feet into that front bit there so yeah I would definitely go a size up on these ones and I don't know why it doesn't say anywhere on the website apart from the reviews that these do run small because uh, I mean clearly they run quite small indeed all right on to the next lowest rated item we are moving even lower to 1.5 stars out of 5 which is pretty pretty poor for a clothing item so this is what the item is it is this blue teal possibly on camera it looks really teal bodysuit so it is a satin material there's no boning or anything in it at all all. And when pulling this out, I didn't realize, but I pretty much own this exact same bodysuit in um, a hot pink from Nasty Gal. But first thing I noticed is that Nasty Gal's is a lot nicer material. However, in saying that, I'm pretty sure Nasty Gal's was a lot more expensive. And I mean, this isn't bad. I'm not seeing any issues with it once again. It's not the best material. It's see-through when I hold it up to the light, but I'm pretty sure if you had this on, it wouldn't be an issue. So I'm not really seeing any issues here. It might be a little bit big on me, and I did order it in a size small, my size, so I, that is possibly an issue, but apart from that, why was this red one and a half stars? Let's see, let's see. First of you is that weird fit. It laid on my chest, it was really weird fit. I'm at 34 triple D, it didn't accentuate them, it just laid like a regular tank top. Very, very weird fit, and it's unreturnable since it's a bodysuit. So I am not a 34 triple D, I am a lot smaller than that, so I might not have the same issue there. However, if it's a weird fit, it would still fit weird on me. So, next review is the breast part fits weird, again, and offers no support. The last one is that the product isn't good quality, and the sizing of the product is very wrong. So basically, I'm seeing here that it just fits weird when it's on it, so uh, maybe that'll happen. And I'm gonna guess, now that they've pointed that out, I can see why. It's because there's no structure under the cups here. So they put the design in for the cups, but unless you put any sort of boning or just something underneath it, it's not gonna keep its structure and it's gonna pull up and look awkward. I've had it happen on a lot of dresses before and it just, 
I mean, they don't put in the boning to keep the cost down, but I think unfortunately it takes away from the overall look. So let's go try it on and see if I have any issues with that. This is what the blue top looks like on. So this is the front and this is the back. And with my lighting going on here, it almost looks like it's one of those reflective tops, you know, that have been really on trend, but no, it is not. And I'm actually not annoyed at this top at all. I kind of don't think it deserves to be one of the lowest rated items. I know, I know, I was bagging it out when I unboxed it, but now that it's on, there's really no issues. I first of all love this color. I think it's beautiful, very summery, beachy vibes, which I love. It's summer right now in Australia, so I am just loving this sort of color, so I really like that. And as far as the whole boob thing goes, I really don't think it's an issue for me. Maybe it's because I'm smaller chested and that's why it's working out, but it seems to be fine. It does sit like a little bit lower than I would like personally, but that's the only issue that I really have with this one. I really don't have anything else wrong with it. I think it's cute fun and I would wear it out to myself so I don't think that this deserves to be one of the lowest items on it Forever 21. I in my years of being a shopaholic have definitely received a lot worse items than this one so yeah I think that this is fine. We are on it to the second last item and this is also 1.5 stars and I'm already able to kind of see why but this is the item I know so extra so me well actually Actually, I don't know if I'd wear this top, but you know what I mean. I love the vibe of it. It's a silver top that has a rhinestone um, straps. I went to say handles then. Rhinestone straps, and it does up on the back here. So this sort of top would be great for a festival. I wouldn't really wear it day-to-day -day life myself. But um, the main issue that I noticed when I've pulled it out of the packaging, I've literally just pulled it out, is that, can you see right there, the strap is sticking to the top. That is not meant to be like that. And it's because they've put, like, hot glue all on the straps here and that's because it came on this and so it was literally glued to this so that in shipping and stuff it wouldn't move but now it just means that it's all getting tangled it's coming undone as well like some parts here aren't joined and then the rest is so the straps really aren't the best quality however that is the only issue that I can see so let's see why this is the second lowest rated item on all of forever 21 so the reviews say that it was damaged when I took it out of the bag about five dangle pieces were broken I'm really bummed I bought it broke because I wore the shirt one time and it broke while I was out oh my god with a top like this where it's like covering nothing Sis, that is not good. That is not good at all. So, I mean, we need to go try this on and see what happens when I try to put it on. Okay, this is what the silver top looks like on. So, this is the front and I unfortunately can't really show... Oh, I probably can. I was going to say I can't show you guys the back because my bra is hanging out the back because I didn't want to wear, like, nothing underneath this. I don't know what you're meant to wear underneath it, so I just wore a strapless bra. So, this is the front and this is the back. So, I hopefully I'm covering that up enough. As you can see, there's really no back at all to it. But I'm glad to report it didn't fall apart when I put it on, okay? So that was really good. Because I have actually bought a top like this in the past because I was going to a festival and I wanted to wear it. And it fell apart in my hand. So that's why when I was reading all the reviews, I was like, yeah, that can definitely happen. Definitely a thing. I don't know. Maybe Forever 21 has been reading these negative reviews and has been changing their clothes for the better. Because, I mean, so far... Everything's been fine. I'm really confused. I don't understand, but this top seems to be fine. I don't think it deserves to be one of the lowest rated items on Forever 21. I hate these straps, that's for sure, but apart from the straps, the rest of the top is fine. So, I don't know. I think that maybe Forever 21 saw those negative reviews and may have changed the make of this top because it seems fine to me. And now we are on to the lowest rated item on all of Forever 21. This is one star out of five stars. And sitting in this packaging, I think it looks quite cute. So this is what the packaging looks like. As I said, looks cute. So let's open it up. All right. This is the item. So it is this pink sparkly dress that is about, a, well, it's a mini length, I would say. And I 
I love this design. I have been eyeing one off on a mesh key for quite some time, but mesh key is a little bit pricey, so you know, I always try to save up for those items. So when I saw that Forever 21 had a version, I was so keen. And then I saw that it was one star out of five stars, which is what actually uh, kicked this whole video into action because I was like, surely not. What could be so bad about this dress? But now that it's here, I mean, I'm kind of seeing the issue. It is very cheaply made. These straps, first of all, are those annoying straps so there's nothing in them except for the fabric. So over time they will stretch and you'll have to like tie knots in them, which never looks cute. And the material isn't the best. I mean, it looks okay, don't get me wrong, but I'm kind of concerned that when I try it on, it's going to be see-through. It doesn't like that, but if you're stretching it as you know you do when you wear these items, if you're gonna eat a big meal like I plan to right after this video to try and cure my cold, it would stretch and be see-through, I think. But I mean, I haven't tried it on yet. So let's see what the reviews are because I'm guessing that has to be it, right? So the reviews say that it's completely see-through. There we go. Could see everything underneath, not worth the buy. Cute, but completely see-through. Wore this for Halloween and it was completely see-through. So yes, that is the issue here. So let's go try this on together and hope and pray that it's not see-through. All right, and here we have it. The lowest rated item on all of Forever 21. So this is the front and this is the back. And so do I think that this deserves to be one of the lowest rated, no, to be the lowest rated item on Forever 21? No, I really don't think that this dress is that bad. It's not the best either, don't get me wrong, but it's really not that bad. I would wear this out. I think it looks quite cute. So the reviews were saying that they didn't like this because it was completely see-through. And as you guys can see, it's definitely not. It is a little bit see-through. Like you can see my underwear through here, which isn't ideal. And it like, so it is a little bit and you can kind of see my stomach more, but I don't think it's that bad. I don't know. Did I just get sent a good one and everyone else got the dodge ones? I don't know because it is a cheap dress. It's not really what I'd expect from Forever 21 in my experience. They're cheap prices, but the quality is, I mean, it's still cheap, but it's not like this cheap. It's like still wearable. Whereas this is more something I would expect from Wish. But in saying that, I'm still going to wear this dress out and about because I think it looks pretty good and not too bad. For the price, Probably would expect a little bit better, but I definitely don't think this deserves to be the lowest rated item on all of Forever 21. I think surely there's gonna be something worse out there, so maybe I'll have to do a part two of this. Who knows? But I really don't think that this is that bad and think that it might actually be quite cute. And with that, that is the end of the lowest rated items on Forever 21. What did you guys think? Let me know down below if you enjoyed this video and if you did, I could definitely do a highest rated items on Forever 21. Compare the two and see how the quality is different. So let me know down below if you are interested in that. So be sure to subscribe to my channel because I upload two videos every single week. And if you want to see these outfits in action, then be sure to follow me on Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Mainly Instagram, that's where I am most active. And that is all for today's video. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I love you all so, so much, and I will see you guys next time. Mwah! Bye! I am now going to go eat some fried rice. I have been dreaming about it this entire time I was filming because I just feel like that's going to soothe my sick soul.